Hey y'all, it's Kevin here, and this is Pure Review. So if you're new to the channel, do hit that subscribe button. I review all kinds of products, and if you find this video helpful, also uh, be sure to hit that like button, and feel free to uh, hit me up in the comments section if you have any questions about the product you are about to see. So today, I want to talk to you about a cool game I just picked up for the Nintendo Switch. It is the Nintendo... Um, the Mario Live Home Circuit, and I picked up the Luigi set. Um, the Luigi one, if you look at a lot of other videos, you know, everybody pretty much goes with the Mario. I'm a big Luigi fan, so I went with that set. And essentially, I want to open this up and kind of show you everything you get. And then um, I'll come back and we'll uh, show you a little uh, playing footage and um, give you my thoughts and impressions on the product. So right off the bat, uh, when you go to the store, I'll include a link to Amazon if you want to pick it up on their website. But you can also get this pretty much at any of the major retailers if it's in stock, um, Target, Best Buy, etc. This is the box it comes in. On the back, it kind of has uh, various pictures. And then let's open it up here. Um, so there is a flap at the bottom. Now, this game is, um, so there's a big old piece of paper in here. The game itself, you're actually going to uh, download from the Nintendo Store. These are all the parts to set up the course in your house or wherever you're playing. Um, and what's cool with it, the concept is uh, you basically uh, can create your own little course and then it, uh, the cars themselves have a little camera on it and it will uh, turn your house or whatever into a um, your own very custom track and how you do that is you're going to provide these little gates and these little arrows so you know you got these little cardboard things here that you will set up and then here are the gates and all this is really easy looking at it it just kind of uncoils here and, um, and then you'll pop this open figure this out without reading the instructions here and yeah kind of loop it all together so it all stands and you're going to mark these this is the gate four there's a gate three two and then one and then these kind of are to help you but you can also use other furniture items in the house uh, books etc to kind of help guide you while you're playing now the course when how it's going to work is you're going to have to map the course and that's going to be what's going to set up the track so it's really using the gates, um, but the other stuff, depending on how tight of a turn you put, should work too. Uh, but the system doesn't necessarily recognize those. So you kind of have to use those sparingly, I guess is my point. And then it looks like this is the race car itself. So um, all really well packaged. Remove the bubble wrap here. And then yeah, here's the cart itself. Very cool looking. So here is Luigi. Now, um, there is a camera on the front here. So this is what you're looking through in the perspective. And then you got the race car itself. And then they include a USB to uh, USB type C uh, cable. And that's how you charge it up. You can plug it into the switch or plug it into any um, wall outlet that has a USB port. And then there's a little button here that is how you turn it on. Um, have to kind of look to see where the charging is. Man. Oh, there we go. This lifts up. So you just lift that up, and there is the nice chill charger, all nice and consent, and healed there, but hidden in there. So, yeah, so that's basically uh, what you get um, once you buy this. It uh, retails for $100, and uh, that also includes the game, which you will download. So let's go ahead and set up a course, kind of show some footage, and then I'll come back with my uh, final thoughts.
right, guys, welcome back. So now you've seen it um, the in footage of the cart actually running. Uh, I will say I was really impressed with um, the home circuit. The, the car itself it has very um, awesome controls. Uh, it was really impressive with how tight the turns can get um, and kind of get stimulating the various different speeds of the various different course levels. Um, they really did pack a lot in this uh, this little device here, so it is very impressive. Um, a couple of you know, a couple complaints I did have is I wish there was more of the the arrows kind of that that they give you because you can create other obstacles to help build that course, but it only recognizes the first two, and um, so your courses can't get very complex. And the other thing that it doesn't remember your courses. So if you like set up the course and then you go have lunch or want to play with it later, you're going to have to remap that. But that's a minor thing that I came across. Um, and then the only other big thing that I really wish they would have done is it's controlled by the um, Nintendo Switch's internal Wi-Fi and the range isn't very far. So I, I, the whole time I was using it, and most of the time when I play my Nintendo Switch, it is in the docked station mode. So that's underneath my TV in a cabinet. Um, and that signal, I just don't think goes very far to begin with. And so this car runs off that. It would have been nice if it was kind of had a Wi-Fi chip and actually ran over the house Wi-Fi. Because I was really confined to my living room space instead of... Um, it would have been great to kind of race the car around through the living room or into a kitchen or into other rooms. And it just the signal wouldn't go past my square little living room that I have. So that would be the biggest complaint I have with it. But as far as the car itself, they really did capture um, the speed and really impressed me with how quick of a right angle turn you can do. I mean, it, it has got great motion controls. Um, so I think it's a fun little game. Um, I don't know how the longevity of the play time, but you can definitely have a lot of fun with it. You can um, play with a friend. Uh, if you both have switches, you can kind of go racing or you can just kind of back pass and forth and do kind of like the ghost mode. So it has a lot of options. Um, it's great for a rainy day inside the house. Um, so I, I personally would recommend it if you're a Nintendo fan. So do hit me up in the comment section if you have any questions. I do typically respond. I'll also include a link to Amazon that will take you to uh, the Mario Kart home circuit. Of course, you can pick it up at pretty much any major retail store. Um, and that's it. So until the next video, you guys take it easy. Later. Congrats, you're a rock star. You made it to the end of the video. Now, if you really want to become a legend, help me out. Hit that subscribe button. And then it always helps also if you hit that like button and share these videos. Till the next one, you guys take it easy.